well, it's curry today. Oh, blimey, that'll be yesterday's leftovers. Curried what? Curried bubble and squeak. No, oh, that'll be the day before yesterday's leftovers. <laughs> oh, well, I'll have some in any case. Oh, it doesn't look very nice. No, I'll only have the two portions. Yeah, well, I think I'll just have a cup of tea, thanks, Wynne. What's it like, then? Oh, it's horrible. I can't eat it. I just can't eat it. Blimey, it must be bad. Right, that's it, fellas. Look, as your shop steward, I'm here to tell you that the time has come to lodge an official protest about the candy and grub. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is so horrible that even Olive can't eat it. Oh, blimey. And I have to make them to the management. Either they improve the grub here, or we will take industrial action. Yes, yes. Fellas, yes. Uh, are you complaining about my cooking? No, I ever gave you that idea. I thought I heard you criticising me. No, 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 you mustn't take it so personal, love. I wasn't criticising you, I was just criticising the grub. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with the grub? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. Just like my mother used to make. She was a lousy cook and all. You what? Blimey, I wish her cooking was as good as her earring. What are you belly aching about? Yeah, funny you should put it like that. Go on, tell her. Yeah, right. Look, missus, we can't stomach your grub no more. Now, look, you do something about it or there's going to be trouble, right? Yeah! yeah. Right. Right. Enough. What's, What's going on here, What's going on here, What's going on? They are complaining about my cooking. Oh, that. Uh, now, look here, the area manager's about, so hurry up and eat your food and get back to work, Alex. I am not eating that food. Good. Not. We'll get back to work now, then. I am warning you, Dracula, there's going to be trouble. <laughs> huh? Now, don't you call me names, you horrible twit. Go on, tell him instead. Yes, I will. Now, you listen to me, Harper. Don't you go round causing trouble here. You know how difficult it is to get good cooks? You should be thankful for Mrs. Webb. Definitely. Look, I know she's no blooming cop, but she's the best we could get, you see. <laughs> you what? Uh, I said, uh, you're the best we could get. Well, look, she is <laughs> not good enough. If you don't do something about this, I'm calling all the lads out. <laughs> Most of them are out already in the cars, eh? Yeah. Yeah, don't <laughs> try and be funny. Oh, I'm not joking, <laughs> mate. We're deadly serious, aren't we? Yes, we are. Now, be quiet. Will you be quiet, mate? <laughs> 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 Come on, Dracula. Come on, Dracula. <laughs> Inspector, what is going on here? <laughs> I come here as area manager and I find that the staff are totally out of control. It's Harper, sir. He's stirring up trouble again. He's a troublemaker, sir. He's trying to get the men aerated. It's not me getting them aerated. It's that rotten curry. Look here, Arthur. <laughs> you stop making inseminations about my cooking or I'll thump you. Jack, it's quite right, sir. That curry was so bad, even I couldn't eat any of it. Oh, Bessie Bums has reared her ugly mush, has she? No, 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 I'm sure this is a very simple matter that we can very quickly sort out. What's the trouble? Well, sir, we have had a lot of complaints about the rotten cooking. What it's... complaints? <laughs> I think it's possible you could, uh, you know, vary the grub a bit and give right, it... Right, that's it. You can stick your job. I'm throwing it up. Yeah, that's what we've been doing for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done, Inspector. Yes, very good. <laughs> now I have to find a new cook by tomorrow. Yes, sir. I think you'll find a bit of difficulty there, sir. I won't. You will. Eh? It's hardly the job for an area manager. You made her leave. You find the replacement. <laughs> oh, God. What am I going to do now? Hey, put that on. <laughs> Yeah, I never got no dinner at all. Oh, well, I suppose I'd better go home and see what I can rustle up for supper. All oh, right, I'll have see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll probably find an old tin of baked beans or something in the cupboard. Oh, oh that'll be nice. Your grub uh, looks very delicious, Mrs B. Yes, stew and dumplings, one of my specials. Oh, that ain't like a really good stew and dumplings. Yeah, that's what I always say. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably have a bit of bread and marge with my baked beans. <laughs> no, <laughs> would, that, would you like to stay and have a bit of food with us? Oh, no, no, I couldn't impose. Oh, well, please yourself. Now, yeah, mind you, are you sure you've got enough? <laughs> oh, yes, there's plenty. Olive, set another place. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my chair, Arthur, come on. <laughs> oh, sorry, Blackie, I didn't see your name on the back. Oi, <laughs> that's my chair and all. Come on. <laughs> all right. 
What's he doing here, anyway? He's staying for supper. Come on, tuck in, everyone. Oh, no. Oh, God. Do we have to have him here? Don't I have enough of him complaining about the food at work all day? Here, yeah, well, don't you dare complain about this food. I'm not going to, Mr B. It's absolutely delicious. <laughs> here, we can do with you in our canteen. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, that is a good idea. Why is? Would Harper just come out with yeah. How about it, Mrs. Butler? How would you like to come and work down at the depot, eh? We could do with a good cook down here, couldn't we? Oh, yeah. I couldn't cook for all them people. Of course you could, you cook for Olive. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Shut up. Go on, Mum, give it a try. What about it? Oh, well, I don't know. Perhaps it would be better than sitting around here. And I could do with the money. Didn't Stan send us anything this week? Yes, it's dirty laundry. <laughs> well, you'll earn a few bob down at the depot, Mrs. Butler's not bad wages, you know. Oh. Yeah, you'd like it down there. You say it's nice people there, you know. Mm. Yeah, like who? Like me, for instance. Shut up, you'll put her off. <laughs> Shut up, you. What about it, Mrs. Butler? Well, I don't know. I'm just... I don't Come know. on. Well, all right, I'll do it. Oh, that's <laughs> fantastic. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, she ain't got the job yet, has she? <laughs> I'll do my best to try and get you the job, Mrs Butler. Mm. Yes, I'll have a word with the area manager. I must say, though, that he usually does manage to agree with my ideas. Mm. Your idea was my idea. <laughs> Who saw the potential, eh? Who did all the talking? Right then. Yeah. Mm, that's all right. Mm. Stone cold. Shouldn't have done all the talking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come in. Ah, good morning, sir. What is it, Inspector? It's about that canteen affair, sir. It's been worrying me. Been up all night. Yes, I've had the same complaint from everyone else. <laughs> no, sir, no. Up all night thinking about it, sir. Oh. Ways and means of helping you out, sir, Mr Simpson, sir. Yes, what is it? Yes, well, I, I think I've got a new cook for you. Olive Butler's mother. Olive Butler? Yeah, Olive Butler. So, you know, the half daft one with the glasses, the fat one. <laughs> Oh, yes, well, she's a walking recommendation for a mother's cooking, I suppose. Oh, yes, sir. What Mrs. Butler can't do with a pork sausage is nobody's business. <laughs> when can she start? She can start right away, sir. I've got her outside waiting for an interview. There's no need to bother about all that business. Whatever she's like, she'll do for now. Oh, I one. thought you'd like the idea, sir. <laughs> I still think you ought to see her first, eh? All right, bring her in. Yes. I happen to know she could do with the money, sir. Oh. Come in, Mrs. Butler. The general manager will see you now. Yes, come in, Mrs. Butler. Yep. Sit down. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. Not you, Inspector, Mrs. Butler. <laughs> thank you, Inspector. Now, Mrs. Thank Butler, you. it's very nice to meet you. I understand that you have family connections with the bus company. Yes. Your daughter, Olive, works here. Yes, and my son, Stan, did. Stan? Yes, he was a driver. Yeah, Stan Butler, sir. Drove to number 11. Oh, oh, yes, yes, I, I, I remember him, of course. Yeah, I wish to God I could forget him. <laughs> why, why did Stan leave, Mrs. Butler? Oh, well, he's getting a lot more money where he's working now, and there was a certain person here, he did... Well, he didn't get on very well with him. Oh, oh, yes, I quite understand. Well, Mr. Blake, actually, has highly recommended you, so I don't think we need bother about the formality of references. Oh. I take it your husband doesn't mind you working here? I don't think so. Why not? He's been dead 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> I am a widower myself. Oh. My dear wife passed away 11 years ago. Oh, really? Have you got any children? Yes, I have. I have a son. He works in the middle. Really? In a car factory. Oh, mm. fancy. My son, Stan, works in a car factory. Extraordinary. Oh, my goodness. Pardon. <laughs> well, of course, it's a long time since I went out to work, you know. I, during the war, I used to work in a munitions factory. I made bullets. <laughs> Uh, Lars Cook used to make bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Only she called them rissoles. <laughs> <laughs> I was foreman in a munitions factory. Foreman in a munitions factory? Yes. Your first name isn't Gerald, is it? Well, yes. Gerald Simpson. I thought I remembered your face. I'm, I'm Mabel Ethel Butler. You remember me? Mabel Butler? Mabel? You're Albert Butler's Mabel. Mabel? Gerald! Gerald? Oh, Mabel. Oh, Gerald. Oh, blimey. Oh, you haven't changed a bit. And neither of you. <laughs> 
Well, I'll be delighted to come here and help you out if uh, I can, you know. Of course, you realise I don't want a permanent job. Oh, yes, I... Uh, I, I quite understand. Yeah, uh, yes. shall, shall, shall I take Mrs Butler down the no, show no, around no, the depot? No, 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 I shall do that, no, and then we can have a chat about old times, eh, Mabel? Oh, oh lovely, Gerald. Oh, yes, Blake, by the way, I, I must thank you for having the foresight to bring Mrs Butler around to see me. Well done, mm, Think nothing of it, sir. Any time I get an idea, only too willing to be forthcoming, Jack. Well, actually, it was Jack Harper's idea. Hey, uh, yes, I've got a bus to get out now, so if you excuse me. Oh. <laughs> now, of course, you realise that you're doing me a big favour coming down here and helping me out? Yes. And if anybody gives you any bo any bother, particularly a certain person, <laughs> <laughs> don't hesitate to give me a call. Lovely lunch Mum cooked at the canteen today, Jack. Yeah, lovely. Hey, Blackie. Yeah, lovely. What are you doing here again, anyway? Well, I haven't had my supper yet, have I? Hey, hey where's my supper coming along? I'm starving. Yeah, hey, what's up with you, Blackie? You look as if the cat's eating your goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> you shut up. You go and get my grub, Olive. Come on. All right, I'll get it for you in a minute. Yeah, get me slippers and all. Here, yeah, don't let him take advantage of you, Olive. Oh, he doesn't do that. Nobody ever does that. <laughs> Shut up and mind your own business, Harper. And remember that an Englishman's home is his castle. Look, you're not English, you're from Wapping. And this isn't your home. You're only the lodger here. Oh, I'm starving. I'll go up and get me slippers. Yeah, well, don't eat them both, Blackie. You'll give yourself tummy ache. <laughs> <laughs> that is not funny, Harper. I thought it was very funny. Yeah. <laughs> and you shut up and show a bit more respect, Olive. And get this dump cleaned up, will you? Like a blooming pigsty. I'm going to show your mother a few things when it comes in, you see. Like what? Like I'm going to put a flea in her ear, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'd better get his dinner for him. Uh. Oh! Hello? Oh, hello, Mum. Yes, Mum. What, Mum? Mr Simpson, Mum? <laughs> oh, all right, Mum. Right away, Mum. I'll get it all done. I'll see you later then, Mum. Bye, Mum. Be good, Mum. Bye. That was Mum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what was that about Mr Simpson? Mum's in a pub with Mr Simpson and she's uh, bringing him home to dinner. Go on. Oh, Jack, I'll never get this cleared up. Yeah, you're staying for dinner. Help me clear it up. Yeah, all right, then. I'll give you a hand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you all right, eh? <laughs> cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. <laughs> Billy, Billy, you know, you boys. Yeah. Water's getting a bit cloudy, isn't it? Now, what you two been up to, eh? <laughs> yeah. Seen you out. Yeah. Come on, Jack, we must make it really nice for him. Yes, you're right there. After all, he is the most important man in the depot. Yes. He's mild-looking, but underneath, he's a hard, sharp-witted leader. He must have been ever so handsome when he was young. <laughs> now, then, that's what I like to hear. What? A bit more respect for me. Yeah. How do you? Who? I see you got him preparing my supper, then. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. If I can help somebody, you know the same, Blackie. A friend in need. Well, it's nice of you to say it. Well, come on, hurry up, then. I'm blooming more starving. I bet you're starving and all, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm not talking to you, you twit. I'm talking to Gordon. Gordon? Yeah, Gordon. And you're a lovely fella, eh, Oh, yeah, lovely. <laughs> Here, can you tell them apart? Of course I can. That's Gordon and yeah. that's Mary. Yeah. And that... Who's that? And that... <laughs> There's another one in there. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, will you leave my goldfish alone? Just gonna clean their water out. Now, do you want a drop of salt on their tail? I'll do it in the bathroom. <laughs> we must get this room ready. Please hurry up, Jack. Yeah, well, Mr. Simpson will be here in a minute. I haven't even set the table yet. Well, here we are then, Gerald. Oh, good enough. Yeah. I think we'll go straight through to the living room. Oh, right. I'll of course, the, uh, you'll have. Uh, You'll have to take us as you find us. Oh, oh Mabel, no standing on ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
Uh, this is oh. my daughter, Olive. Oh, hello, Olive. Uh, hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and you know Jack Arthur? Oh, hello, Jack. Nice to meet you on your home ground, so to speak. Who is that? Well, sit down, Gerald. Oh, boy, I thank you. Oh, where's Mr. Blake? He's not here, is he? Uh, yes, I'm afraid so, sir. He's just gone upstairs to do something to his fish. Oh, oh loves. You started the vegetables. Yeah. Would you like to finish and peel the potatoes? Well, of course, Mrs. B. Oh, Gerald, I've left the wine outside. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are, Mrs. Butler. Now, where do you think you've been, eh? What do you think you're up to? Well, now, you pull yourself together, I'm telling you. Well, well, enough of this. Well, it's all right, eh? Oh, a choke. I'm going to set up with it on test. You don't have any cheer, but... Come on, come on. Yes, sir. <laughs> 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 Mr. Simpson, now, what would you be doing here? <laughs> I am here as a guest of Mrs. Butler. Oh, yeah. And I had no idea this was your own personal chair. Oh, 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 oh that's it. Uh, oh, oh, that was a joke, wasn't it? It's a joke, yeah. You see, uh, yeah, well... I, I come in sometimes and I find Art was sitting in my chair, you see, sir. And I come along and I say, Get out of my chair! <laughs> Get out of my chair. <laughs> and we all have a good laugh, don't we? <laughs> 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 it's a joke, isn't it? Yeah, well, we know you think it's very funny, don't we, Mrs. B? Yes. <laughs> well, set the table, Jack. No, I, I, I'll set the table, Mrs. Butler. You will? Yes, well, I always do, don't I? <laughs> oh, really? All right. <laughs> What are you looking for, then, Blackie? A tablecloth. Yeah, it's in the usual place. Eh? Hey? <laughs> You're trying to make me look a fool in front of help. No, you don't need any help from me. <laughs> <laughs> Inspector, you are a very lucky man to be living here. Oh, yeah, yeah, and lucky. it's very cheap, too, sir. Cheap? What are you talking about, cheap? Pay four pounds a week, will it be? Four pounds? I would have thought in this area Mrs Butler would have got at least five. Yeah, that's what I think, sir. Well, I think that four pound is fair for bed and breakfast and an evening meal. And an evening meal? Yeah. And I think it should be at least six. Yeah, and he keeps his goldfish here too, sir. Yeah. <laughs> oh, could you, Mr. Harper, you see what I don't know. Well, of course, it is none of my business. No, sir. But, sir. <laughs> I think you ought to give Mrs. Butler at least six pounds a week. Yeah. Would you mind raising my rent, Mrs. Butler? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure she wouldn't mind, eh, Mrs. B? <laughs> And these are the goldfish, are they? Yes, they're Gordon and Mary, sir. Yes, Mary. they may well be, but don't you think it's cruel keeping them in captivity? Hmm? In a little tiny round bowl like that? They must go nearly mad going round and round and round all day. What do you want me to do? Get a square bowl for them, then? I'll tell you what, let's all sit down and have supper. Oh. Gerald, sit there. Olive, there. Jack, there. That's right, and we'll all have a nice... Oh, thank you. There. Now, we'll all have a nice little drink. <laughs> now, where are you going, Inspector? What about your supper? I'm going upstairs with me goldfish. Yeah, well, don't eat them both at once, Blackie. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, cheers, oh, Gerald. Oh, cheers. It's very really happy to very have nice you in my house. Nice to be with you again. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with him? Oh, no. Don't tell me Mr. Simpson's coming here again tonight. No, he isn't. Supper will be ready in about an hour. An hour? Yeah. Mr. Simpson's taking Mum out to dinner in a restaurant. What? Yeah, I'm getting your supper for you tonight. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's not your chair, Dracula. Shovel. Don't you call me names, you. I'll bet just about enough of you, Arthur. I'll tell you, allowing Mr. Simpson to call you Jack last night. You'll be calling me Cyril next. All right, Cyril. Don't you dare. I'll call you Dracula, so you better. You, <laughs> you shut up. Now, what's going on here? Mrs. Butler's gone out alone to have dinner with Mr. Simpson. I can smell something fishy. Yeah, that's our supper. Huh? Yeah, all this frying your goldfish. <laughs> Get out of that chair, Arthur. Come on. Look, you twit, you're only an inspector. Mrs. B is a friend of the management. So is Olive. So am I. We've got friends in high places, mate. Ah, oh, there. No, that looks lovely. <laughs> you better be an old. It is, I'm telling you. That's my second helping. And mine. <laughs> Your second helping's got more than my first helping. Oh, so it is. Oh, what a bit of bad luck. 
It's not bad luck at all. It's Mrs. Butler, isn't it? She's deliberately favouring you and giving me less. It's a blooming conspiracy. <laughs> you and your family, you're all against me, aren't you? Yeah, you're deliberately undermining my authority by not giving me enough to eat. Well, I reckon he's got plenty, Daddy Olive. Got a nice bit of meat there, take, lovely carrots, potatoes. Take your <laughs> filthy fingers out of my food, will you? Look at that, you've got more of my food on your fingers than he's left on the plate. I've had as much as I can take of this, I'll tell you. I'm not getting fed at home, I'm not getting fed here. I'm fed up. Ah, yeah, that don't make sense, Dracula. Shut up. Shut up? Yeah. Shut up? Who do you think you're talking to? I'm still the inspector here, you know. And what are you doing here, Arthur? You're supposed to finish your lunch ten minutes ago. I'm going to go and see Mr Simpson about you. Yeah, funny you should say that. I was going to have a word with Gerald about you. <laughs> Gerald? Gerald? Yeah, he's our mate, and he? Look, you what? can't shove us around anymore. we got influential friends. Influential what? You heard. Now, listen. What's going on here? Now, you keep your nose out of this, Mrs Butler, and you speak when you're spoken to. Oh, look, now she then. can speak when she likes to. She's a friend of Jerry's, and don't you forget it. Jerry. Well, Jack, I don't think you want to speak to Mr Blake like that. Why not? He can't do nothing to us, not now that we're friends with Gerald. Yeah, if he's not careful, he'll be looking for a new job tomorrow. <laughs> Listen, mate, your days of shoving us around are over. We don't have to take it anymore. We're friends of the management, and we, Mrs B? Well, yes, Jack, but I think you ought to know that Mr Simpson's leaving next week. They are, you great big ugly strip, you what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, when I had dinner with him last night, he was talking about his retirement. He's going to live in Skegness by the seaside. Oh, yeah. And he asked me if I'd like to go up and visit him. Yeah, well, uh, what I was going to... Would you like my second? Blakey, I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> no, I didn't think you would be either, Barbara. Thank you very much, Mrs Butler. It's a very useful piece of information. Thank oh, you very much. Not that. at all, Inspector. No, then, Arthur. Your meal break is over, mate, and so is your little game. Now, you put your food down, pull your socks up, and get your bus out. <laughs> no! Yes, yes. And a lot of you. Come on out, you get it. I'll have a bit more meat if you don't mind. <laughs> 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 <laughs>